Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2019 in Budapest, Hungary, where I'm pleased to be joined in the studio today by Innocent Bagamba Muhizi, who is the CEO of RISA, which is the Rwanda Information Society Authority. And uh, I would like you to very much welcome to the, you to the studio. Thank you for having me. Now, I'd like to start off by asking you uh, what Rwanda's key initiatives are and success stories in the digital economy, and what is uh, RISA's role in that? Uh, thank you. Uh, Rwanda has embarked on the digitization journey for almost 20 years now, uh, where we have a national ICT plan, which now we call Smart Rwanda Master Plan. And we've uh, managed to implement a couple of different uh, initiatives that has transformed the economy. We've laid out infrastructure in terms of connectivity. We have um, more than 10,000 uh, kilometers of fiber deployed around the whole country, connecting all the districts and uh, border towns uh, uh, bordering with other countries. Uh, in addition to that, we have uh, over 95% um, uh, coverage for 4G LTE network. Uh, so the whole country is basically connected now. Um, right now, the uh, key initiative in terms of connectivity that we are working on is to ensure that all the service providers in terms of hospitals, schools, uh, other cooperatives are now able to be connected so that they can serve the citizens better. So um, that is on the connectivity side. Uh, but in terms of uh, service delivery, we have uh, partnered with the Irembo, uh, a local company, to provide e-government services, where we have over 100 uh, services that are offered online, end-to-end, uh, -end, um, where citizens do not have to leave their offices or homes to be able to get basic services like a birth certificate or something like that. So. We are continuing on that journey where we're digitizing government services. Um, and we have other different systems, for example, taxes. Businesses do not have to move out of their offices to go queue in banks to pay their taxes. Taxes are paid online. Uh, procurement for government is done uh, purely online, where both uh, businesses and companies that are bidding for services from uh, government institutions they submit their bids online, and uh, the government actually publishes bids online, mm -hmm. companies bid online, and uh, even to the level of signing a contract. And uh, the journey is continuing, uh, so these are some of the key highlights, but uh, we have a little bit much more of some of the services that we've deployed. And what's the state of play of 5G in Rwanda? So right now we are at a planning stage where uh, through the Rwanda Utilities Regulatory Authority we've completed the planning phase where we have started to look at uh, the frequencies that will be allocated for uh, for g So now we're going to go into the next stage of proper planning and uh, uh, developing a roadmap for uh, uh, 5G in the next uh, few months uh, to come. If you had to identify a single factor that uh, would accelerate uh, connectivity, which would you think that would be? Affordability uh, is very key. Uh, yes, we have uh, more than 95% uh, coverage, but our citizens able to afford, our businesses able to afford some of these uh, services. So that is one key factor that um, not only in Rwanda, but even in other countries that needs to be looked at um, so that citizens can be able to uh, uh, get connectivity. Now, innovating together connectivity uh, that matters is the theme of this event. Why do you think connectivity is so important and what makes it meaningful? I mean, it's very important. Uh, I mean, if you're not connected, uh, one, you will not know what is happening on the other side of the, of the world. If you're not connected, you won't be able to deliver your services from you know, one point to another in, in whatever jurisdiction you're in. So connectivity is the cornerstone and the foundation of everything else that we're doing in the digital space. Well, Innocent uh, Bagamba Mohisi, uh, CEO of RISA in Rwanda, thank you very much for joining us in the studio. Uh, it's been uh, very uh, interesting to hear your perspective and hopefully we'll catch up with you at some stage in, in the very near future. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Yeah.